Because today we're doing a Serif 50R head stem bearing install. So obviously we got the old racers still in here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, knock those out. So what you'll need for that is you'll need a good ball peen hammer. Uh, dead boys really help. And a good bearing punch. A uh, nice oval sort of sharp head on the end. Helps a lot. And uh, obviously then you need your tip tree out and then a uh, new bearing kit ready to go back in. So we'll get into it. So what you want to do is you want to get the, see how the oval really helps there. So you want to just do that and work your way around that side there. Then flick across to that side and here and then there and just work your way around. Unfortunately, I won't be able to hold the camera and do this, but we'll uh, get it out and see how we go. magic of uh, photography and they're out. So now we've just got to uh, put the new ones back in. Alright guys, this is what I use to in, uh, install the new bearings. Um, I'm just a dumb motorbike mechanic and no matter what you do you'll get raced in the YouTube comments but this is how I do them. You just pop that in there and then I'll try and do this one handed so it won't be that good. I preheated the frame and also had that in the freezer for a fair while, so that's in there, nice and home and whatnot. Now I'll just go ahead and I'll do the bottom. So next up, we're just going to pack these uh, bearings. So I'm just using some heavy duty bearing grease. I'll just lay it there like so. And I'll just, all, all I do is I roll the bearing into my, my palm there until it pushes out through the bearing and you know that the bearing has got enough grease in it when it comes out through that cage there. So we'll just go ahead and do that right the way around. So you can start, start to see it all come through here. It's all coming out the sides there. So you know it's got a uh, good amount of grease in it. I just like to keep going for a little bit longer. Oh, 
reckon that's pretty good. And then I'll just wipe a smear around the outside there. Sounds like my battery's charged. Pretty good. All right, so we set those aside and then we'll move on to putting the right out. So what we're gonna do is first install our seal down there like so. And then we've, we've actually had this uh, head stem here in the freezer. So this should help a fair bit. Then we're just gonna go ahead and we've got this handy dandy uh, Head stem bearing installer here. So you just want to find one that fits that that inner uh, inner race, so you're not hurting the cage of the bearing. Wish that one's a nice fit there. So uh, we'll go ahead and whack this down like so, like that, and then we uh, simply get this out the way. Pop that down, locate that in. Then we just give it a few hits until it goes down. So we'll uh, go over here. Try and do this one handed. As you can see, that didn't really uh, go to plan. That's on and around. That seal's nicely lined up. So we'll come over to the bike and we'll simply just slide that in like that. And then we'll get our top bearing and we'll assemble it all. So hang around. We've got our top bearing in there, guys. And we've got that top seal in. Now we're just going to try and uh, put that top nut on. Which is going to prove to be a little bit difficult, one-handed. So we'll just do that up. I just want it till it's nice and firm. Like so, like that, grab our top cap, we'll sit that on, then we'll grab our top nut and washer, we'll just pop that on like so, I'm actually going to put that nut on the other way because there's a few, yeah that's nicer like that and we'll do all that up once we uh, put the forks in and whatnot but that's just a bit of a basic overview of uh, how to do a set of headstand bearings on CRF 50R. Cheers!